I feel like being real informal. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> this oh, is yes. our informal get together. Yes. Or well, like we're that. bringing all the family in for it and everything. Yeah. <sighs> Well, here we are. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Laban Johnson. I'm Larry Bly. And, we're and welcome cooking to Cooking Cheap. That's right. We've got all kinds of good things. I'm going to do a cobbler. And I asked several old farmer women. <laughs> <laughs> I did over the weekend. I had lots of them in. Uh -huh. I do. A lot of my dear sweet aunts and people like that. The difference between a cobbler and a pie. Mm -hmm. And I got some of the wildest answers. Yeah. And nobody seemed to know the answer to it. But I think I do. And I'll tell you later. Well, I didn't have anybody in over the weekend because my <laughs> lights were out the entire weekend. No thanks to the power company. Well, that's the way it yeah, goes. Yeah, just. What are you making today? Time. <laughs> no, I'm doing some kind of a viewer's recipe. April Yates from Norfolk, Virginia sent this recipe in, and it's uh, some kind of little uh, chicken thighs thing that she's worked out. Can you hear that? I think our sounds our like a dog. Skyward camera the, person has come down with the mange. With uh, panting. Uh, I'm going to do bad. Bernice's fruit cobbler. Ah! Bernice <laughs> Hall down in uh, Rural Retreat gave me this recipe, and it's a real fine one. I'm not going to uh -huh. do it just yet. I'm going to let Laban do his first. Well, I'm just going to start mine now. This is a real easy recipe, and I said, "Oh no, this can't be real. This has got stuff in it that I would not normally use in my home, and some things that I don't normally do." But you know, I'll try anything at least twice. And uh, <laughs> so this, um, this is what you do. You start out with a package of thighs, oh, the chicken. Chicken thighs, chicken thighs. All right, and you want to take them out and you got to pull the skin and the fat off of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the s strangest demonstration I've ever seen. Well, I mean, how else do you show what you I was thigh afraid those hips were going to get away from you. <laughs> unless you move the all all over here. <laughs> <laughs> and children, please do not try this at home with your babysitter. What, playing with chickens? No, pulling the... Oh, oh, oh. Be and careful how you flop that around. Fling at that skin and the unnecessary fat over into the garbage. You do not need it. I remember last year you did that and you were pitching it around and I wore a chicken skin on my head for days before I knew I it. I thought it was very becoming. It was just awful. <laughs> it was becoming uh, real nasty <laughs> after about two or three days. There goes see, another one. See, look at all this stuff you don't Is need. there anything you could do with that? It seems like what? it's such oh, a waste, sure. to waste all that if we were If we were one of those high price shows, yeah. you know, like mm -hmm. you Whatever. Know, Jeff and, and all that gang, them. yeah, uh -huh. uh, they would tell you to throw this in the stock pot. But we know perfectly well that most of you are not using a stock pot every day on the back of your stove. If I'm I mean, not frying it, I'm throwing it in my backyard. Uh, oh, the, how gross. For the local cats oh. and dogs. I have a lot of little animals that come around and uh -huh. they look I've forward seen them. to it. Both kinds, two and four legged. <laughs> and there's that one bizarre three legged one that you don't want to talk about. Uh, anyway, you have to just really get right up in. This is a very messy dish. And just pull this skin off of here. Now it's no skin off my chicken. And you know, this. <laughs> For those of you, isn't this attractive? It's so pretty. It really is. You probably could frame that mm -hmm. or paint over it. One of those other painting shows on public television, you know, you probably see them using this stuff. Well, anyway, you pull this off here, and those of you that are fanatics about health and all that business, <laughs> this, is, this is for you. Oh, no, this chicken had lost all its skin at the factory. It gave at the factory. Oh, it did. Yeah. Plenty. And There's oh boy, one. well this one has that, got that one all made the, up for it. And it's just loads of fat on here. <laughs> Skin which head been, McGillicuddy, that one was. You know, has had terrible uh, experiences with yellow colored feed. Uh -huh. uh, let's pull, uh, here we go. Some of Frank's stuff? Uh, yeah. I, I'm afraid so. <laughs> mm. Oh gosh, chicken fat for days. Just think of how much fun they used to have when they had to to wring its little neck and chop its head off and all that and pull its feathers out. I see, I remember that when I grew up. Oh, wait a minute, too. oh no. Oh, there's a terrible warning at the bottom oh, of it. It says, do not pull skin off by penalty of law. This is ridiculous, <laughs> this, is, this is like getting one of those commercials at the beginning of the videotape you've uh, rented, like Bly does from that X store. Well, don't read it, we're well, not allowed I'm, to say it. All right, well anyway, I can't believe it. Down at the bottom of the chicken, a they've commercial. got a commercial. Oh, <laughs> that's just, I find that to be offensive. Uh -huh. You know, if I'd wanted a commercial, that poor chicken gave its life for me, or three of them did. Mm. <laughs> Two thighs per chicken. All right, Bly, that's all I want to do right now. Okay. Ugh. 
There's four kinds of cobblers. I'm going to tell you about them right now oh, that no. I know of. <laughs> I've done a great, great deal of research on this. I've spent weeks on this show. There's the cobbler that I'm going to do today in which we, we, we sort of mix the cake part of it all throughout the fruit and all of that, and it makes its own batter. And then there's, we used to have a quick one we would do at home when we'd go pick cherries off the tree, the black heart cherries. And Tootsie would always take a yellow cake mix, just ordinary old cake mix right out of the box and make it up according to the package directions and then you fold in all of that, that fruit at the end of it and just bake it like you would a normal cake. And that's sort of a cake mm -hmm. cobbler. And that's real good with lots of cream all over it. It really is. And then there is the kind where you get to the end of your pie crust and you don't have quite enough for an entire pie, so what you do is just smush it out real good and put all your junk in there with lots of sugar over it, fold it over and just pinch it shut, mm -hmm. and you don't even need a real pie plate to do that. Oh. And then the fourth kind of cobbler is the guy that works on your shoes. No, 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 oh, I swear. It's I terrible. No, took me a while to get there. Bond yeah. used to do cobbler. She'd make a biscuit dough mm. and just add some sugar to it, and then she'd put our, all the fruit down, sprinkle a little flour mm. over it, and then lay that biscuit dough over it, yeah. and it would cook that that's, way. That's another way to do it. There are a lot of, there, that's the one thing that you learn when you start looking into the cobbler business. There are uh -huh. a lot of ways to make it. Right. And today's Bernice's fruit cobbler is a real, real easy one. And uh, that's why I'm going to do it, because I didn't feel like knocking myself out today. Oh, well, I'll right. be honest with you, I really didn't. I came up with an easy recipe for easy people. I mean, an easy recipe pardon. for simple people. I mean, now, a simple there's some recipe people for... on this staff that are easy, but not me. First thing you do is take an entire stick of margarine. And you can tell this is an old homey recipe because mm. it called for butter. <laughs> but Johnson's closing up, even as we speak his, and so I had to be easy on him. Now, you could either melt it in a pan like this, or if you have a metal pan like the one that I, the real one that I fixed and brought in, what they do is just set the real metal pan right, right on the old eye there and just melt it right in the pan. But I'm getting fancified a little bit today, so what I've done is I've pre-melted it. And you put it down first. That's an easy part. And then what we do is we do the mix of stuff. You do. <laughs> well, you certainly are in a, <laughs> really in a dancing mood, aren't you? <laughs> we start out with a, a cup of sugar. <clears throat> well, I thought you were you were not too frisky before the cameras came on. You just no, suddenly well, got yeah, a second just, shot of. I just blossom and light up under the cameras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a star. Cup of sugar. It's taken him 10 years to admit that, folks. What's that? That I'm a star. A cup of self-rising flour. <laughs> Would somebody answer the phone? Was there a phone ringing? Uh-huh. Well, you know, they've let everybody go. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy doesn't have yeah. any money anymore. Uh -huh. They installed that fancified uh, security, security system, system. they mm -hmm. can't afford anyone anymore. They don't even have, they can't even afford to pay somebody to watch the security system anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, where else? Teaspoon There's of baking a direct powder. Link. There's a direct link to the homes of some of the, the uh, executives around here. Because they got nothing else to do. And they watch at home. Uh huh. Teaspoon they have nothing of else to do. fresh baking powder. And you're only, whoever it was that, that originally did the first Fanny Farmer cookbook said that you're only as good as your baking powder. Uh -huh. However fresh that is, that's how good your biscuits are going to be when you decide you you're going to make You should get fresh them. baking powder at least every six months. One egg every six months uh -huh. don't they have a little thing on the bottom that tells some of them do now they tell you right on the side or on the top or on the bottom well this one uh -huh. doesn't this one says eight three one nine what's it mean that's the last four digits of the phone number of the lady that put the cap on it <laughs> and if you want to call her you can call her at eight four one nine area code well never mind but anyway, could I have, do you have paper, would you go back and get that paper towel? I'm uh -huh. afraid to walk across the floor because I'm afraid my mic cord will show. Here. <laughs> Thank you. So anyway, uh, and milk. I got to add some milk to that. How much? I think it's one, one, one. <laughs> I forgot. I was so busy. Three uh -huh. quarters of a cup. Thank you, Dor Doris is here. Did you know that? Yes. Doris is here. She's here. Of course, there'd be a lot of women angry about that. You know, a lot of them real jealous about the fact that Doris gets to work on I our know. program. Well, and, that's the way it goes. They don't. And I'm a little jealous that Doris gets no. to work on the show. 
She gets paid better than I do. I don't think you make anything, do you? You know, that's better than we do. All right, three quarters of a cup of milk. We have to pay. Yeah, we have to pay them to be on the show. All right, here we go. And you just mix that all around. Ain't it pretty? Uh -huh. Look what at it. What if you don't have a whisk? It's just love. Oh, you can use an old spoon. I used a fork earlier today. Uh -huh. Why? Are you trying no, to make no, a big deal no, out no, of it? No, no, just, just, you know, some people Is out it there a personal might not thing? have a whisk. No, I mean, well, watch. Here, look. look oh, at no, it. not with that good measuring spoon. Look at that. Oh, no. It's amazing. You can even do it with that. You could even do it with your, no, never mind. Okay, now what you do at this point is you spoon this off over top of this. Uh -huh. However, I don't have time. <laughs> I'm not going to spoon it. I'm just going to dribble it over a little bit, sort of like this. Isn't it pretty? Uh-huh. It's just real lovely. You'll find this is quite delicious. Or at least I found it when someone else made it. <laughs> Whether I'm going to find that today, I don't know. But anything with this much sugar in it couldn't be too bad, don't you reckon? Oh, I'm sure. So anyway, now isn't that lovely? Now I have spelled out a rude word in the, in the margarine. Mm -hmm. If you look in very Chinese. carefully, you will see that there is a terrible thing written in there. It says bumba. No, I better not say it. All right. Then you take some, fr I went out and picked these, a big cherry tree out back of the studio here, Blue Ridge Public Television, <laughs> a few minutes ago, and yeah, pitted them. Yeah, you and George Washington <laughs> and Rex. And you put about a <laughs> quart of whatever it is you want, and you can come up with any kind of a fine little fruit that you like. You could do it with peaches and herb. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means, I don't, means. Think I don't know. Would stand still I don't think she, she would. She might like the butter, but not all that now batter. The, and you put this on top. Now the interesting thing is, all of this goes to the bottom without you ever flipping it oh, over. It just works its I way right swear. down. That's something. Put that right in there, and then you put it in the oven at 350 degrees until it goes brown on the top. And you don't want to overdo it because, well, you just don't want to overdo it. Right. You right. might have a heart attack. Oh, oh, I mean, no. you don't want to overdo this right. because, you know, you don't want to overdo it. <laughs> I forget why you don't want to overdo it. But you don't. Take my advice. Could you use watermelon in that? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Laban, it has a tendency to go to the bottom real fast. What, the watermelon? The watermelon does. No. Yeah, a lot of people a don't watermelon like watermelon. watermelon cobbler. Mm. There you go. Mm. There's a fine cherry cobbler. Well, Isn't that pretty? It's amazing. We've done a recipe with cherries that didn't fly all over the kitchen. 350 degrees for about 20 or 25 minutes or until brown on the top. You just kind of have to watch it. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want it to get gummy. It'll get gummy. Gummy. And that's it. That's it. And when it comes out, it looks like it's in a different pan. <laughs> when it comes out, see, I did this one in a metal one so I can melt my margarine right in there. It looks like that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's that's just real gorgeous. It's got a little navel there in the it's middle. It's gorgeous. It is. It's a, uh, a little enzy. It's an enzy. You know, uh, not an awesome. Uh, so anyway, there you go. That's it. That's my recipe. I'm going goodbye. I'm oh, out of here. Well, Bly, wait a minute before you go. You what? know, today is a big day. Real big day around here. What's happening? Well, as you know, our dear aunts, the Cook sisters, have oh, yes. finally gotten out of the nursing home. They've been in a health ranch for some considerable period of time. Uh -huh. A health and ranch. And they've had a lot of stuff done to them. They've worked real hard. They've had everything tightened up and tucked in, and they have stopped by to tell us something we need to know about cooking. Well, sister, I've got something with me today to sort of test your memory from when you were a little <laughs> girl. <laughs> Let oh, me see it. it fell over. <laughs> oh, oh Tell me. I remember that. What is it? It's old Mr. Wilson's truss stretcher. No, <laughs> no, that's not it. Oh. Sauerkraut maker. Sauerkraut, you put your head of cabbage in there and then you whoosh, 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 and it comes out. And after, you, after you've done that, then you put all of that in a bowl and you take that and chop it up and then you make homemade sauerkraut. That's what it is. I don't believe any of it. I don't recall we ever had sauerkraut at all. Huh. It gave me gas. Everything gave you gas. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. sisters. Oh, they are such a mess. <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs>
Excuse me, I'm all getting right. over it, no. I think. All right, Bly. What here, are you doing? We're going to do these thighs. Good heavens, that's the biggest box of spuds well, I've ever Well, this seen thing in my calls life. for too much. I did find it out when I made You need two cups of <laughs> potato flakes. Now, I don't personally use these at home, but, uh -huh. you know, here they are. I've had them many a time two in this house, and I know I have. Potato flakes, and you put those in a bag, plastic or brown paper, mm -hmm. and we're going to add some spices to it. And that includes a, a quarter teaspoon of curry, oink. Which I have finally gotten to like right. down through oh, the I'm years. Oh, I'm so pr proud of you. He is. And a teaspoon of ground ginger. All right, that goes in there. And then a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of pepper. Which seems to me to be right smart, but that's what they've added. <laughs> I was going to say, I believe it's going to be right hot. Well, I don't know, though. Well, with all those potato spuds uh, in there, there must be about seven pounds of them in there. And then the pepper. For a couple of little old pieces of chicken. And we'll put a, there's a, about a tablespoonful of pepper. Makes four pieces of chicken and 12 pounds of potatoes. Right. Now. Now, you don't need mashed potatoes with this? Is no, that the deal? No, you don't. It just... The, the, Potato flakes are like the breading on this thing. So, and they're all here in the bag. Now, oh, this is an egg, one egg beaten up with two tablespoons full of milk. And uh, that is for those of you that have written in to tell us that we ought to have a lot of things pre-measured and ready to go. So I, I did that earlier today. And you just put that, put your thighs down into the egg <laughs> And milk mixture, and Ooh, then throw them. Oh, it feels them. so good. Uh -huh. Oh, you mean and, the Oh, okay. And throw right. them over here in your potatoes. Mm -hmm. Put and your thighs in there. Put your thighs down here in this stuff, and it'll <laughs> set you wild. What uh, kind of uh, bag uh, is that that That's, you have this, there? This is called the rear end of a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you emptying it out earlier. Oh. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's a clean one. Just came out of the box. It's a great idea if you don't have well, a bag. I reckon it's safe, but I mean for this game. Oh, I've got a mess on to me. Could I have a paper towel? Uh huh. <laughs> He's dribbling it all over well, the floor. Well, I can't help it. It's a messy kind of a Ooh, recipe. I think it's on my leg. Hang on a second. Oh. Let me check. Nasty. Right? I got the egg on my thigh okay, after now. all. What? You have to thigh me a river. All right, now everybody. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. Oh. okay, now you take your bag and shake them thighs. Oh, That's what April said. Oh, do we have to see said. that again? <laughs> she says, shake them thighs. So boing, boing, Was boing. that another Joe Cocker joke? I <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear many of those on no. cooking shows on public television. <laughs> Only in this program. Up where we belong. <laughs> oh, you got a oh, hole in it. There's a hole in my bag. Oh, terrible. Oh, no. He's, those spuds are all over the floor. They're everywhere. If we have another hard rain, this place is going to come up and mash potatoes. All right, now, wait a minute. All right, now, once you, you open them up, and let me get this bowl over here. You need to put them in a baking dish. I'm going to put them in this little bowl because I'm going to take these home and eat them. Uh, well, I never thought we'd ever see you eat anything with fake potatoes on it. It's hmm. not, they're not baked. It's just the flakes. Fake. Potatoes, I said. Oh, not fake. Baked. baked. I thought you said baked. Well, anyway, huh? there they are, and you put them in a pan, and you're going to bake them at, April says, at 375 for 35 minutes. Or you could do them a lot quicker if you boil these thighs for a while first. Mm -hmm. And for those of you out there in TV land that are real uh, health food nuts, that's an even better idea because that way you can pour all of the Fat. Fatty water off. That's and right. you remember fatty water. Oh, fatty water. Ethel's and it's, people. Right. Ethel and Ethel muddy. And mud <laughs> muddy so water. They, they are some Ethel good people. water and fatty water. Right. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with us today. And then Bonk. and then they're they're nasty Uncle Dirty. <laughs> 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 all right, now you, you're gonna bake all those in the Uvon and where's my let me get a Oh another backle shot. Shake it's not a thighs, good sight. Shake them I'll try and cover for you, Laban. I don't want you to cover. I'm proud of them. Well, you should. God gave be. them to me. I've been oh, working on them for a long sake. time. Yeah. I don't know if I were you, I'd be sort of adjusting the set. Now, thing. here they are. Woo! Look at that. Aren't now, they? You know pretty? they're pretty. Oh, they're lovely. They're gorgeous. And they're sizzling in there. They're just beautiful. Mm. Let's see if I can. Oh. 
and yes, they're you'll hot. burn yourself. Well, let's go over How to How long the, did you do that? What? How long did you do that? 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Well, uh -huh. don't we have to get the cooks? Uh, oh, the, uh, yeah, the receipt. recipes. Oh, the, yes, we, which, we got all the things. You to forgot do. about half the I show, have. John. Well, let's do He's it. Just let's look feeble. at the recipes, and then we'll get Miss Witch to come in. <laughs> oh, where am I? The chicken sent in by April of Norfolk. Six medium thighs, four, in, four cups of instant potato flakes, but you really could get by with two. An egg, two tablespoons of milk, tablespoon of salt, one of pepper a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a quarter teaspoon of ground curry. And he's, that's it. He's been on medication. Fruit cobbler, a stick of butter, a cup of sugar, a cup of self-rising flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, three quarters cup of milk, an egg, A-I-G, and fruit of your choice. Fruit of the Month Club. And that's it. And that's it. That's all there and is. And what's good old Miss oh, Witch got? she's down here already. We'll see if you can... Lord, she came in a little slightly ahead of cue. Read up on that thing and see what she says. Okay. She stretched my arms out a little. Well, it goes with those other stretch marks here. Dear boys, let's brunch next week. My Aunt Rapacious Hag, <laughs> is that a Rapacious uh -huh. Hag, unusual name, will be in town. You remember her, she was a uh, what is that? A crone. A crone before she was a hag. Right. Miss Witch. Right. Okay. Well, next week we'll do a brunch. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. what we'll do right. next yeah, week. Yeah, why not? All right, well, let's I sort of forgot when we're in well, the middle let's of the take letter. These, uh, take your chicken and run. Over here and, and try them out. Whoosh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Uh. Huh. Well, oh. here, let me give you some of this fine stuff. And let me give you a thigh. Ooh, that's so pretty. Now, you know that's lovely. This, this is a thigh to cry for. A thigh to cry for. I've got you under, under my, my thigh. No, oh, please. No, no, that's not right. And then we got some mail, Can too. I try this? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, it smells good. Well, let's hope it will be. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad for a thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like potato flakes. No, it's... Well, it's unusual. It's... Let's well, try this uh, cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bad. No, we're, we're being terrible here, and we April should be. April will be upset and write no, us hate April, letter. it's okay. Don't give up. Work on it a little, but don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Believe me, it's just a little. I got, I got one of them caught. You know, the little flakes come off. I went, <gasps> and one went down in here. Hey, Bernice, this is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. You better mm. say that's my business partner's mama. We could all get in big trouble. Letters, letters. Well, let's see. Well. <laughs> well. Are listen. you going to read it to yourself? No, or? listen. Dear <laughs> Laban, Ella can't even spell my name. Well, who can? She is, uh, hmm. on your, your recent program, you took the chicken out of the package and threw it right into the skillet of grease. Don't you guys know how to work food? Uh -oh. I've noticed both of you lick your fingers and put them into food. You guys are right down dirty. I wouldn't think of eating anything <laughs> you two made. I don't enjoy your program anymore. And it's signed a listener. Well, we don't enjoy you anymore. Turn the knob off What'd and don't do? watch anymore. Gosh. Good heavens. Thank you for the upbeat mail this year. Right. We appreciate it. I love to watch your show. Keep licking your fingers. I right. swear it says it right here. If you want to, I, it don't hurt anything. Keep up the good work. I want and then ask for a recipe. That's Peggy. Peggy Jackson of Cedar Bluff, Virginia. I don't know where that is, but it sounds like a lot of fun. And Velma you don't Pointer. You bluffing, do you? Oh, go ahead. Velma Pointer wrote in and said, while my stay in the hospital, while my stay in the hospital, I watch your show for the first time. <laughs> enjoying, yep. enjoying it, any watching, every time. 
you would please send me some recipes for the black walnut candy. And it's from Velma Pointer in Chesapeake, Virginia. Well, Velma, we're glad we could cheer you up while you were in the hospital. It says P.S., but I did lose that kidney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's terrible. I just made that up. I really did. Hey, listen, we this is a pretty good meal. Mm -hmm. It really is. And, uh, well, hey, thanks for dropping by the old cook and sheep kitchen. We'll be back next week. Yeah, you know those thighs are... Uh,